welcome to everyone this is himalayan research channel today we are go to discussing about tulu peoples tulu peoples they are living southern part of india and western coast adjacent to western ghats hills above kerala and part of karnataka about 17 lakhs people living in tulu zone they are speaking tulu language they are maintaining culture minimum 1500 years we inviting linguistic scholar mr vishal kodial to this program आपको टुलु पीपल वी आर इनवाइटिंग यू फॉर टॉकिंग अबाउट टुलु पीपल्स एंड कल्चर इन दिस थैंक यू सर यू आर सेल्फ या माय नेम इज विशाल कोडियाल आई एम फ्रॉम मैंगलोर सो मैंगलोर व्हेन इट कम्स मेनी पीपल आस्क मी यू आर फ्रॉम कर्नाटक मेनी पीपल नो दैट बट मेनी पीपल डजंट इवन नो या बट वन थिंग द पीपल डजंट नो दैट देयर इज अ लैंग देयर इज अ लैंग्वेज कॉल्ड टुलु एंड आवर रीजन इज कॉल्ड टुलुनाडु Uh, in Kannada, it is called Tulu Nadu, and in our own language, in Tulu, we call it as Tulu Nadu. So, I'm from that region, and uh, I've been working for the languages and linguistics from uh, past fifteen years. It was, uh, it is my from my childhood. I've been working. Uh, I was interested in knowing languages, learning new languages, and uh, I've been doing from so many years. And uh, being my uh, like my place, my native language being Tulu, I've been promoting from uh, uh, many years now. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. So people living in which locations? In the, uh, only uh, uh, Karnataka, Abad, Abad from Karnataka also there. Yeah. So uh, Tulu land, Tulu land, we what we call as Tulu land, what we call like like mother uh, mother land. Yeah, mother land. Yeah, mm-hmm. Tulu mother land, Tulu speaking region, what we ah, call that. Yeah. It has been divided in two states now. Mm. So it is uh, the Tulu land, like seventy percent of Tulu land is in Karnataka. And 25 percent is in Kerala. That is called in the Kasaragod district. So the the Tulu Nadu, what we say, it is uh, comes because in the olden days, if you go to the previous uh, about two year, two thousand years, what the history, what we have it in that uh, what the history as per the history, it says uh, Tulu kingdom was all the way from Gokarna, which is in Uttar Kannada district. But uh, yeah, from Gokarna till it goes till it was still uh, Kasaragod. Which timeline? uh it's like 2000 when the 4th century we have the details from 4th century 4th century yes yes ah. tulu history starts from 4th century ah. what what are the details we have it whatever the inscriptions what we got it ah. has been uh, recorded from 4th century ah. so alupas are the kings ah. alupa is a kingdom which ruled the our tulu nadu and ah. as per them they ruled all the way from gokarna which is in uttar kannada district so we okay. basically i just uh, want to before starting about alupas i just want to understand uh, tell you people uh, the alupas or tulu nadu kingdom which was there right now it has been tulu is spoken only in three districts that is udupi district dakshina kannada district that dakshina kannada is also called as south kannada ah. district and the kasaragod district which is in kerala in kasaragod okay. district But some people said uh, telling the uh, Kasaragod uh, have more can uh, Canada than no, no, Tulu no. people. No, the, the linguistic minority. The, 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 the actually document saying uh, Canada when Kerala the document linguistic minority document saying the Canada people more than Tulu people as population. Yes, system. that's why they are uh, yes. recognized the Canada as a linguistic minority above fifteen percent of the population. Yeah, so I'll tell you before the uh, we should really, really thanks to uh, we should say thanks to Facebook or Orkut because of this we are even aware about it and all. Because you so what is to happen is people are not aware of their linguistic identity. Uh-huh. So what is so how these people are taken? I used to say that Tulu Canada people are more Canada people are more because uh-huh. Canada is a language which is being taught in schools. it has been famous you know it has as a, yeah, all the uh, uh, energy like whatever the support we have because from the government government it may be from anyone because mm-hmm. karnataka is a 
developed language. Mm. Coming to the food, it is not a developed language. So what happens is in the Kasaragod, we have Malayalis, we have Tulu, we have Bari. That's a language which is spoken by Muslims and Yes, 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 yes. Uh, Arabic. There's the, 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 a company called Belchera. As a company, yes. Arabic slang. So, the, so it is a it is a language only spoken by two communities. One is Belchera community, which is their Hindus, hmm. and there's a community called Baris, uh, hmm. who, who speak that language, who are Muslims. So uh -huh. that language. So when it comes to learning a language in the schools. Bari, Belchada, Marathis, we have Marathis, we have Konkanis, we have Tulu people and Vada people. So what mm -hmm. they do is they prefer because Tulu Nadu has very much uh, regionally, culturally, very much uh, same with the Bangalore or Udupi. These people tried, even though they are in Kasa God, they started learning Kannada as a language. Mm -hmm. If you take as a known language, Kannada, how many people know Kannada? In that sense, Kannada people are more. But when you come to as a mother tongue, when you call as a Tulu as a mother tongue, mm. Tuluas are more. Mm. Known is always different. I'm talking about the mother tongue. So mother tongue people, when you uh, linguistically when you talk about mother tongue, Tuluas are more. And when it comes to the language known, that will be Kannada will come more. Okay, okay. okay. Oh, uh, yes. Population strength of the Tulu people. So there are total, there are say, unofficially it says, 17 lakhs that is the population what we got it as like 17 lakhs of people what we One get is from the 2011 census One seven. yes 1.7 million yes yes right okay, 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 okay yeah but if unofficially but what has happened is the mm. tulu culture or tulu language people have many people even today mm. you know uh when you go to the because tulu is not a uh, scheduled language mm. or tulu is not it is never used to taught in the school or it was never promoted in Tulu, even in Tulu Nadu itself. Mm -hmm. Even though our commercial language, if I go out of my house, we speak everything Tulu. Even it may be commercial, it may be even in the banks, even in the, if, apart from government offices, mm -hmm. usually in any of the places, if you go to marketplace, you go to any commercial place, or you go to general public, it may be you speak any language. It may be a Kannada guy, maybe a Konkani, maybe a Bari. But mm -hmm. the local language, the first language what we speak, that is Tulu. But even though that is there, people were very much not, uh, we were not acquainted with it because it was not promoted for so many years. I should, as I said, because of this uh, social media, because of the people started promoting Tulu language, it has reached, it has evolved gradually in the past 15 to 20 years, it has been evolved. In before 20 years, people have preferred talking in Kannada or in Kasaragod, it was Malayalam. So what I say is, Officially, it is 17 lakhs, like 1.7 million. But officially, they say it is more than 2.5 million people speaking. And uh, Tulu people are majorly in this, uh, as you said, in the Alupa kingdom. The Alupas were like uh, from the Gokarna. The Gokarna is the Kannada district, which is also called as North Kannada district. So gradually, the speakers in now currently in Gokarna to till the river called Kalyanapura river, which is in Udupi district. Mm. Till there, the Tulu is not spoken now. Mm. There's a different uh, stories or different things people say that uh, why it has been gone. No, but uh, currently there's no records why the Tulu has been stopped or why Tulu vanished from that region. But currently, the Tulu okay. Nard or Tulu speaking region is uh, people are more, uh, the population, Tulu population is more in and it is Tulu Nard is considered from Kalyanpur River of Udupi district till Chandragiri River of Kasargod. Would it be, would it be is, is speak uh, people speaking which language? Uh, Kannada. Would it be people Konkan. speak, uh, see, would it be, again, it is divided by five taluks or you say five tehsils or five taluks, we say. So, northern part of uh, uh, the Udupi district, it is called Kundapura. So, we have Kundapur taluk, we have Bindur taluk, and Brahmavar taluk. These three taluks have speaks this language called Kunda Kannada. So that ah. Kunda Kannada is a mixture of Kannada and Tulu. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, apart and, uh, yeah. So apart from that, we have other Talus called Ebri Taluk, we have Kapu, we have Karkala and Udupi Taluk. This Taluk, local local language is Tulu. And coming to the Kasargod, we have two main Taluks there. One is Kasargod Taluk, one is Vasdur Taluk. 
so in vastu taluk the majorly the majority language is uh, malayalam and the kasaragod taluk we have tulu as a there is not a majority but uh, that is considered as a tulu nadu actually okay yes so ah, the yeah. whole kasaragod doesn't belong to tulu nadu hmm. only the kasaragod taluk belongs to tulu nadu uh -huh. okay yes okay the you are uh, which state you are uh, writing tulu language tulu is not recognized in any of the state right now La tulu is both spoken in karnataka and kerala uh, but La both the states are not recognized and we have been fighting from so many years uh, script we have developed any script tulu script script yes uh -huh. so script as per the if you see the linguistic uh, group many have uh, linguistic are still uh, doing a research on it and uh, if you say about proto dravidian what are the classification as a dravidian classification we have it tulu is not under any of the uh, southern languages it is all it is refused from the starting it has been proto dravidian in if you can uh, classification it is taken as a separate language and it has a own script which is uh, tulu script is also called as tigalari script which has been used now and it is been promoting and right now uh, we have the schools and tulu is taught as third subject in the school now Ancient manuscript in which time line you are found in the edge? The Tulu script is, if we have a history of 2000 years. We 2000 have a history. But, uh -huh. 2000 yes, years before but, you, got, for, you have the document, documented already. Yes, we have the documents from 4th century. But we say that it has been... Yes, in, yes. Uh, in uh, stone or copper plate or... Uh, palm leaf palm leaf we have in palm leaf we have in the stone inscriptions there's a wooden inscriptions we have mm -hmm. all the things whatever the support documents we have to show uh, mm -hmm. uh, about the uh, the how many years we have been uh, tulu script is there mm -hmm. all the documents is available even today mm -hmm. and these documents are available in two three places mm -hmm. one is barkur mm -hmm. and uh, one is in mangalore mm -hmm. we in this places we have the documents are still available so barkur was used to be alupas capital now the the sad part is in barkur town tulu is not spoken now mm -hmm. but tulu shasanas tulu literature is still found in barkur uh, town mm -hmm. okay, okay 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 how many and, uh, ah, yes and tulu script is been been promoting day by day mm -hmm. and it's been uh, many of the online classes happens and uh, many of like even the government has not supported and doing a unicode still it has been because we have our own language own script and that is a local language it is not a dead language uh -huh. it is still spoken in local every language. household and it is spoken even in the public places uh -huh. and every month one tulu movie has been released mm -hmm. and we okay. have tulu cinema industry uh -huh. okay and we have yeah we have tulu cinema industry and every month one or two movies get released Uh -huh. and but the uh, good part is we in the both the states karnataka and kerala we have a tulu sahitya academy has been founded and tulu sahitya academy are working for the development of tulu karnataka mm karnataka -hmm. government recognized tulu people as linguistically minority in karnataka no not the organization you got not it so that's what we are fighting for it because uh, apart from tulu uh, we have in karnataka visually many the people of outer outer karnataka people mm -hmm. think there's kannada kannada means there's only kannada but apart from that we have other languages too which is uh, in karnataka that is tulu kodava and konkani mm -hmm. all the three languages which is uh, uh, is spoken in karnataka good people apart from that we have other languages which is called sanketi mm -hmm. sanketi which is a language which is uh, people some people call it as a dialect of tamil but that is also native language of karnataka which is sanketi and uh, we have many other tribal dialects and uh, we we have many sub dialects too then you are uh, tulu language not teached in school at present uh, tulu language is not uh, taught right no tulu language is taught in schools in uh, up and uh, dakshina kannada district which is being taught and it has been taught in third language as third language it is spoken it is not a compulsory to speak or learn it uh -huh. uh, but it has been taught as third language for past 10 years uh -huh. have you have the textbooks at any schools 
implemented uh, yes we learning. have a test book yes we have a test book and uh, uh, coming to through promotion it's happening and many classes are happens uh, online many people who want to learn there's a there's a link called bale tulu which is in uh, our my own friends are doing it and if somebody has to learn a tulu script or if you want to learn how to speak also you can learn online through youtube many of the shocking even the government is having uh, any separate uh, tulu linguistic department we have education. called the uh, tulu education uh, tulu side no our under education board mangalo university has been this yes. we have mangalo university and mangalo university is supporting for the tulu linguistic uh, uh, to learn tulu and we have even uh, uh, we have ma in tulu we can do a ma master of arts in oh, tulu master, we can wow, okay 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 master degree yes. you can do in tulu, tulu. yes yes we have it ha uh ha -huh. 